Hey you guys, it's X Crazy Nails, and today I'm going to be giving you some nail tips on how to create your own color acrylic powder, meaning you can create your own pigment for a very cheap and inexpensive price, and all you're using is chalk. As you can see, chalk has many different colors. So this is just a nail tip, um, how to, little ideas for you guys, so you guys can get an idea on how I do my stuff. If you have any requests, or if you have any questions on nails or anything like that, or if you want to request a video, please comment down below and I can see what I do but this is the first nail tip that I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing many many more videos different things that are related to nails it can be with acrylics natural nails things like that how to remove your cuticles um, how to begin acrylics how to even start how to shop things like that it's just going to be different um different nail tips and things like that so I'm going to be starting this series and hopefully you guys liked it so today's the first video is going to be how to create pigment for your acrylic clear powder so you can create color acrylic powder so let's get started you guys okay so the first thing you're going to need obviously is chalk you can get chalk at the dollar store chalk is very inexpensive they come in a variety of colors which I love I got a 20 pack for a dollar ninety four so almost two dollars for twenty chalks which is very inexpensive again you can buy it at the dollar store so you're gonna need some chalk now you want to get your chalk, whatever color you want, and you want to get it to a powder-like consistency. It has to be as if it's powder. I'm going to show you it. All you have to do is shave it. It's like a powder-like consistency. And you can shave it with a knife or what I recommend doing it with, shave it with this little foot file. You can get this at the dollar store. And it's like as if you're grating cheese. It works really, really well. It's super, super fast. And um, it's really inexpensive and cheap to use. So you need to get your chalk and you need to turn it into a powder-like consistency. Once you turn the powder into chalk, you can go ahead and mix your clear acrylic powder. You can get this anywhere. It's really inexpensive, especially clear. It's really inexpensive. You can get this online at Sally's, basically anywhere. And you just want to go ahead and mix it together as if you were doing any other mix. And there you have it. So I'm going to show you how it looks on a nail. And this is what it looks like. So yes, it does. It is a different shade of pink but you can see it creates as if it's a regular color acrylic powder very very simple very very easy okay so you can see that whenever I put it on the nail it is a completely sh different shade of pink um, than it is from the chalk now whenever you shaved it or you turned it into powder you would think that you would get this very pretty light pretty um, pink color but when you put it on the nail it changes into a completely different shade of uh, pink which is totally fine because again it's still inexpensive and a little bit goes a long way now the reason why it changes color like this is because chalk is water based so it absorbs water really really well so I'm going to show you a way so you can know what color it's going to be on the nail because you may want that really nice pretty pink color but then when you put it on the nail it comes out to be this so all you have to do is get a small glass of water and then dip the chalk into the water and then you will see what the color would be like if you were to put it on the nail now it's not the exact color but it kind of gives you an idea of what the color will look like so if you don't like the color you know you can go ahead and pick another color but again it's very simple very easy Okay, so that was really, really easy. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Now I'm going to tell you the good things and the bad things about using chalk. The good thing about using chalk is that it's very inexpensive, very cheap, um, easy to find. You can get lots of it for a little price, and a little bit goes a long way. As you can see, this is one whole um, chalk, and this is how much it makes. And when you mix it with acrylic, you really don't need a lot of this this takes all you need is a little bit of this so a little bit goes a long way so that's the good thing about it um, I do recommend using this um, and I absolutely love it because chalk has so many different colors that you can use okay a couple of bad things about using chalk first of all chalk is very messy I mean it gets everywhere it's a power when you turn it into powder I mean it's everywhere and it's really really messy and it's really hard to store because um, again it gets everywhere so that's one of the bad things another bad thing is that whenever you are shaving the chalk into a powder whenever you're using this or whatever you use to turn it into powder you really don't want to inhale any of the uh, any of the um, 
the powder, whenever you're shaving it, you, the air can get into the powder and then you can inhale it. You don't want that stuff going inside of your lungs. So just be very careful when you are shaving chalk. You don't want to shave more than chalk. You don't want to shave like 20 of them in one day. Please don't do that because if you do, your nose will be filled with all the um, different powders, different colors. So just be careful um, whenever you're doing this. Stay away. If, you know, don't you don't want to inhale this just like you do any other stuff. You don't want to inhale anything that's bad for you like nail polish and things like that. Just stay away from it. But other than that, I do recommend doing this. I hopefully, hopefully you guys try this. It's really simple, really easy. It's fun to do whenever you're shaving it. Like I said, just be, you know, be careful whenever you're doing it. Don't let, you know, small children get around it and things like that but hopefully you guys like this nail tip again if you have any requests or if you um, need any help with anything comment down below and I will try to help you as much as I can so hopefully you guys enjoy this and look forward to my other nail tips and thanks for watching until next time bye you guys